my people deserve better. All right, let's get started. Yeah, I can't do too much with y'all tonight because it's been a long fucking day. It's really going to be midnight pretty soon. But this is America's new tallest skyscraper that they're talking about building. Because we haven't built some real new tall shit in a while. We had the the one that replaced the Twin Towers, but they could have done better with that. I don't even like the design of it. They did way better. But, of course, you know, money always destroys creativity. Right? So, let's look at this shit. And um, let me know if you can hear the, the screen. If you can't, I'll fix that too. But we should be good. Um, all right, let's do this. This is the Legends Tower, a mega project that could very possibly become America's new tallest skyscraper. One that would finally dethrone the One World Trade Center, which has held the record for more than a decade now. Surprisingly, it's supposed to be built in a city that doesn't even have a million residents. Preparations for this project are already well underway, with construction starting this year. But is this even realistic, and why are they planning to build it now and in this location? Hi, my name's Regis, and today, we're going to take a closer look at a record-breaking skyscraper that could become one of the most exciting buildings in the world. The United States' history and relationship with skyscrapers... Can you guys hear me clearly over the... Based. Though they currently might not have the tallest building in the world, they've actually the... held the record multiple times in the past. Let me have a thumbs fact, up for the better part of the entire 20th century, the U.S. was home to the tallest building in the world until they were finally overtaken in 1998 by Malaysia's Patronus Towers. Today, the tallest building in the country is the One World Trade Center in Manhattan. Standing at an impressive 541 meters tall, it has held the record for the tallest skyscraper in America ever since it was topped out back in 2013. And although the U.S. undoubtedly has the capability and expertise to construct an even taller structure, none has even been built up to this very day. But why? One possible reason for this is the historical significance of the One World Trade Center. On top of that, even the tower's height, being exactly 1,776 feet tall, has a symbolic meaning to it, referencing the year of the United States Declaration of Independence from England. That's Another always been cool. I thought that was cool. Why no one has ever attempted to create something taller than the One World Trade Center has to do with just how expensive and impractical it is to actually build a skyscraper this tall. Though it's definitely not impossible to build higher, it's a completely different story when it comes to financial sustainability. And over the past decade, it seems like nobody has been ambitious enough to gamble billions of dollars into constructing one. Well, nobody has been until now. This is the Legends Tower, a super tall skyscraper that once completed would easily beat the height of the One World Trade Center in Manhattan, potentially becoming America's new tallest building. However, when details of this project were first unveiled to the public back in December 2023, the plans for its height were actually a little different. Initially, the proposed tower was planned to be only 533 meters tall. We say only, but as far as skyscrapers go, that's already pretty darn impressive on its own. However, despite this towering height, it would still have been just 8 meters short of becoming the tallest building in America. Though the project's developers never actually gave a reason, I think it's pretty safe to assume that they simply weren't going to just settle for second place. So just one month after the project was revealed, it was announced that the height of the Legends Tower would be increased from the original 533 meters up to 581, making it 40 meters taller than the One World Trade Center, and thereby solidifying its place as the new tallest building in America. But enough talking about the project's height. We know you guys have heard plenty of that. What exactly is the Legends Tower going to be? And where are they planning on building it? We all know the history. That's what the fuck I was asking myself, like, where they're placing this shit at? How are we supposed to wait for... When talking about the United States' tallest and most impressive skyscrapers, New York City and Chicago are probably some of the first places you'd think of. And there's very good reason for that. Both of these cities are some of the country's largest transportation, economic, and population hubs. This means that there's actually a very huge demand when it comes to high-rise developments in these areas. And because of that, they've developed some of the most impressive skylines in all of America. So if we're talking about the new tallest building in the United States, it wouldn't be crazy to think that it's going to be built in one of these two cities. But that doesn't seem to be the case with this one. The Legends Tower is actually part of a bigger development called the Boardwalk at Bricktown. And you see it that? In a city that you wouldn't probably think of when it comes to America's tallest skyscraper. 
a city that doesn't even have a million residents, Oklahoma City. Why? You need to build, tell me you're going to build the biggest fucking building in America in the middle of Tornado Alley. Does, does that make sense? Like, it's smack in the middle of Tornado Alley. Oklahoma City. I don't... I don't get the it. The project is being jointly developed by real estate firm Madison Capital and architecture studio AO. The Legends Tower itself will include a Hyatt Hotel, more than 1,700 apartments, and as much as 10,000 square meters of space for commercial use. Now, aside from the main tower, the complex will also consist of three smaller 100 meter tall buildings, which will be used mainly for residential and hotel spaces. The surrounding areas at the base of the towers will also be home to various shops, restaurants, an open plaza, a man-made lagoon, and a brand new and state-of-the-art arena for the Oklahoma City Thunder. According to its developers, the project is being built in response to Oklahoma City's growing population and economy. Oklahoma City is experiencing a significant period of growth and transformation, making it well positioned to support large scale projects like the one envisioned for Brickstown, said the CEO of Madison Capital, Scott. Yo, chat. Would, would you move to Oklahoma? I've never really even thought about Oklahoma. I don't know what the fuck is there. Sure, it's cowboys and shit, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Scott Madison in a recent interview. The project also aims to further develop Oklahoma City as an iconic destination that could potentially drive even more businesses. If you look at this cityscape, it's pretty fucking drab, right? Like it looks like some old school small town city. Hence, there's not even a million people there. If they start this project and they do it right and draw other you know things in, then I can see this transforming completely. This whole thing that we're looking at right now will be tall building after tall building after tall building. It will start looking like a Chicago, like a New York. And if that's their goal, my thing is just. Tornado Alley, like the tornado will tear these shits up. Like I want to see if they're they're gonna build this shit to withstand. They will have to. I, I want to see what they say about that. This is jobs and investment to the growing city. Once fully built, the entire complex is even estimated to double the amount of housing in the city's downtown area. Now, as of March 2024, the project's developers have already confirmed that they've secured one and a half billion dollars that's going to be needed to construct both the main skyscraper and all three of the surrounding smaller towers. Of this amount, $770 million will be reserved for the Legends Tower alone. But to be honest, we're kind of skeptical if this is a realistic price tag in this day and age, especially if you compare it to something like the $3.9 billion spent on the One World Trade Center. This sum of money comes from many different stakeholders, such as the local government of Oklahoma City, which has already allocated 200 million US dollars for the project. Aside from the city government, various other private investors and major banks will also be involved with the financing of this development. The entire project has also recently gotten approval back in April of 2024 from the Oklahoma City Planning Division for the rezoning of the block the boardwalk will be built on top of. What this actually means is that the proposed increase in height of the Legends Tower has been approved by the city, and the developers can now proceed to the next step of the project. Madison himself is also pretty confident they could even begin work on the site by summer of this year. The first phase of the project will consist of the construction of two out of the three 100 meter tall buildings, which will both serve as apartment towers. And here's the catch. Once the first phase has been completed and at least 50% of the apartments have been leased, only then will the second phase begin. This includes the construction of the Legends Tower itself, which is estimated to take somewhere between three and four years to complete, according Damn. to one of the project's architects. Just a quick note, if you're enjoying this video so far, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. They're good, they're good people. Advance, subscribe. Now, back to the video.
Despite all of this progress regarding funding and approval of the project, many people are pretty skeptical about the idea, while some are even against the project altogether. One of the main criticisms against the Legends Tower actually has nothing to do with the skyscraper itself, but rather the city it's going to be built in. Compared to some of the biggest metros in the United States, Oklahoma City isn't exactly the first place you'd think of when it comes to the most impressive and awe-inspiring skyscrapers. The city barely even has a skyline that you could compare to, say, New York City or Chicago or LA, something like that. The project's developers argue that now is the perfect time to construct the skyscraper given Oklahoma City's recent growth. However, many experts believe that the Legends Tower will never be built, or at least not in the way that it was initially intended, especially if they're building it in such an unlikely place. One expert argues that Oklahoma City just isn't big enough to support and warrant the construction of a project like this. Despite the project already having secured the alleged necessary $1.5 billion for its construction, that doesn't paint the complete picture of how much this entire endeavor is actually going to cost. And cost estimates like this one, just as with many other projects, can turn out to be quite inaccurate. Large cities like New York can have taller buildings because they have more people and more companies. The smaller the city, the harder it is to fill all that extra space and at a price that makes it worth it. This is what Jason Barr, a professor who specializes in the economics of skyscrapers, had to say when asked about the feasibility of the Legends Tower being built in Oklahoma. And with the entire Oklahoma City metro area population being a measly 1.4 million for a city like this, it remains yeah. to be seen if there's going to be demand for what the Legends Tower is trying to offer. So he makes sense. If you don't have the populace to fill that fucking building, they're not going to build it at all. It's cool they got the approval, but for what? And look where it's not going to be at. Like, that whole area looks dead as fuck. Even the city's mayor seems to be pretty indifferent about the proposed skyscraper, saying, in my observation, private developers often announce... And I'm sorry if, you, if you're from Oklahoma City. I'm not trying to trash your fucking town. I'm just stating the fucking obvious, you know what I'm saying? The plans, and some of those plans happen some don't. I have no strong opinion and look forward to following their effort. Because of this, some people have proposed alternatives that could possibly be more realistic okay. to build in place of the plan as it is now. The three surrounding buildings and the rest of the boardwalk could still prove to be a worthwhile undertaking that would benefit the city as a whole. These modestly sized towers and accompanying public space that it would create could potentially be a good addition. You mean to tell me they couldn't buy that fucking strip joint right there? <laughs> they couldn't get rid of the strip joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? They could have built these buildings, but then you left this fucking little shit right there. Come on, people. Come on. I'm talking about this shit right here. This, this is like, come on, get, get, buy that shit out. Get rid of it. Uh... After all, more housing downtown, especially in a fairly central area that's close to many forms of transportation, would be a great boost to the city's livability. Since construction is taking place in phases, the space that was intended for the Legends Tower could still be replaced by another smaller structure as required. But despite all the clear and somewhat justified skepticism against the project, especially the Legends Tower itself, its developers are pretty confident and serious about actually finishing it. They've already managed to acquire most of the permits that they're going to need, and it even seems like people are actually willing to invest money into its creation. So the question is, what do you think about the Legends Tower? Do you think it'll actually become America's new tallest skyscraper? And would you like to see a new tallest skyscraper in the United States? Or should the One World Trade Center remain at the top? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you want to see more about skyscrapers currently being planned and built in America, you should watch our video about America's skyscrapers of the future. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.